Okay, now I'm going to show you how to actually set the microtome up for cutting. Um, you're going to get it in this sort of condition. It'll be cleaner, but it'll be set up like this. The blade holder will be in the upright position, locked in place. Um, all right, you're going to have your tools over here. You're going to have an 8 millimeter Allen wrench, a 5 millimeter Allen wrench. You're going to have your specimen block holder, your specimen block, and your blade. Okay, first thing I'll show you how to set the specimen up. Uh, you're going to take your actual specimen holder here. You're going to put it in here, see about where this guy needs to go, because this guy slides into place. The uh, uh, lined edge is going to what it's actually clamp. So it's a little trial and error. Just stick it in here, see how that fits. It's a little loose. I'll move it up another notch. Make sure this guy is all the way loosened back here. This guy here is all the way loosened. Um, Alright, so then that's actually too tight, so I'll move it back one notch. Okay. Then you'll grab your 8mm Allen wrench. You'll tighten this screw here. It actually pushes that forward, clamping your specimen block in place. You can go ahead and throw a little bit of torque on it. You don't want to do it too too much. You don't want to strip anything out. Just make sure that this guy's not moving around. Uh, and then if the, the angle on the actual table here needs to be adjusted, it can move this way or this way. You pick up this, this plate here and underneath you will see little knobs. Um, which first you need to Take your big old wrench guy here and loosen that. Slide that over the nut. Loosen that just a touch. Doesn't take much at all. And now it's it's hand tight. And then you can adjust your your knobs here. This makes it. This one makes it go side to side. This one over here will make it go forward and backwards. Uh, just get it level. I mean. You're not going to really need to play with that too much here, unless your uh, specimen is really crooked. Then go ahead and tighten this back up and put a good amount of torque on that. Then put your little table back in place. This guy has a, a notch in it to line up with the. There's a little little knobber here that that slides on, so you can actually slide it back if you want. Don't drop it. But uh, it goes up against there. Okay, now I will show you how to set up the blade. Um, you're going to get in like this here. These four bolts are what hold this in place, keep it from moving. Um, they're going to be tight. You really only want them to be as tight as you can get it with the little side actually torquing. That's as much, that's as much torque as you need. So I'm going to loosen those up. If we tighten them too much, yeah, go ahead and do it the other way, but just don't tighten them down using the, the long end. Alright, so that that's what loosens that. You're going to want it in the upright position like this, so when you put the blade in, it slopes down and it'll hold itself in place, so it's not trying to slide out and you're not trying to catch it. But when you're installing the blade, you want to make sure that these are still tight, because you don't want this guy moving again. Alright, so now you grab your, your blade out of here. This is when stuff gets serious. Um, the way you're going to install it is you're going to want the beveled edge down. So it's going to sit about like that in the machine. So I'll go ahead and take it over here. Slide that guy in there. You're going to want to use both hands because it is, it is sketchy. Um, so now that's holding itself in place. These are locked still, not moving around. And then you're going to one by one, I like to go back and forth to get the, the torque right on this here. Um, it's a good idea right now to go ahead and put the uh, the protect the blade protector. It's more like a hand protector in place while you're doing that, just in case you slip. You don't want to be cutting yourself. Now this one, go ahead and you're gonna have to go over these a few times. 
because when you tighten one here, it might loosen up over here, here, so you just gotta keep going back and forth, making sure that everything's nice and snug. Okay, everything's snug. The blade's not going anywhere. I'm not gonna, I don't wanna touch it. Um, and now we'll move the blade into the cutting position. Go ahead and loosen these four guys up. And once those are loose, this whole head will move. And then this is your uh, your degree indicator. This is a negative degree. You don't want that. You're going to want it right around 7 or 8 degrees, which is just a notch away from 10. Um, so have it right around there. And then it's hard to see on the camera, but you'll be able to see it with your eyeballs. Um, and then you're going to go ahead and tighten these four. Like I said, just do it. You know, tighten it like this. You don't want to put too much pressure on it. Just enough to uh, keep it from moving around. And again, go back and forth because one will loosen inevitably. And then that's locked in place. Specimen's locked in place. Everything's tight. This guy's tight. And at this point, you're about ready to start cutting. That'll be the next video.